there's a vast array of mushrooms that grow at different seasons and in different environments but today I think it's the right time of the year to go and have a look for a few hedgehog mushrooms and here we've got a nice example of the hedgehog mushroom it's one of the more easily identifiable fungi in the forest and this gives me an opportunity to show you the major tool for a mushroom picker, which is the mushroom knife. It has a blade and a brush at the other end so you can clear the woodland debris from your mushrooms before it goes into your bag. Most mushrooms, as you know, especially the ones you get from supermarkets, have got gills underneath. But this one has very small spikes that stand underneath the cap, hence the name hedgehog mushroom. You can easily identify it with the spiny teeth-like gills it's got underneath the cap. One of the other advantages of a hedgehog mushroom is the flies don't seem to lay their eggs in them, so they last longer on the forest floor. Before you go into bag, it's advisable that you just brush off the dirt, which makes it easier to clean and prepare for the table when you get home. You shouldn't wash mushrooms, and um, that's a culinary thing really. Mushrooms are great absorbers of liquids and even poisonous gases. I'd never pick mushrooms that are too close to a road. They absorb heavy metals very easily. So always pick in a more natural environment. Also, if you pick mushrooms when they're wet, they tend to taste of less. You know, it's nice when they've been out, a little bit drier, little bit more concentration of the flavours. As soon as you wash a mushroom it absorbs a lot of the water and it becomes a different texture. It's not really what you're after. So hence the brushing? Hence, well, hence the brushing rather than the washing. This is one of my favourite mushrooms. Lovely flavour and keeps well. Some of the chefs will clean the teeth off before they cook it because it's not very presentable in your sauces to have lots of little white cylindrical things in your food. Me personally, I'm not so bothered. You know, these can be found approximately in the same place year after year. Once you've spotted where to find a particular type of mushroom, have a look around that area next year as well. Um, is there any rule as to how much to pick in order not to deplete the resources? The main rule is cut the bigger ones that have already dropped their spores um, and also carry them, once you've picked them, in a wicker basket so that as you go around the forest the spores can drop out and perhaps they can grow in a new area where they've not had chance before. Time to go on to the next wood. See what we can find there. Mm -hmm.